Hello everyone, I had a wonderful spring break in which my dad got fired and my molars started erupting from my guns causing me immense pain and I got a haircut. But that's enough about me. Let's talk about rainbows. Rainbows, as you probably learned in grade school, are formed when light from the sun does some funky stuff that looks like this in a raindrop. Basically, white light is a combination of all the other colors and the raindrop separates them. Depending on the amount of times that the light reflects, there can be another rainbow on the outside of the first, and rarely there's another one. Theoretically, there can be an infinite number of rainbows, but it's rare unless you're using a laser. Also, rainbows can be formed with moonlight, but it will of course be fainter. Rewind. Although rainbows have an infinite spectrum of colors, people generally say that there are seven. Red on the inside, then orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet on the outside. However, no one really likes indigo because it doesn't fit in with the other colors on the color wheel and not a lot of people can tell it apart from blue and actually Sir Isaac Newton made it up so that there would be seven colors like there are seven notes on the musical scale. But since we have the indigo girls and everything we have to kind of keep it sort of there but usually we don't put it in the rainbow. Rewind. Symbolically rainbows stand for peace and harmony and in many cultures it is seen as connecting heaven and earth. In Hebrew mythology, aka the Bible, the rainbow is created by God to say, Hey, the rain stopped. I told you I wouldn't make it rain for 40 days and kill all you guys again. Anyway, because rainbows stand for peace, they are often used as peace flags. However, the rainbow flag also represents the gay rights movement because rainbows and their infinite spectrum of colors symbolize diversity. The first gay pride flag was made by Gilbert Baker in 1978 with eight stripes. Hot pink for sexuality, red for life, orange for healing, yellow for sunlight, green for nature, turquoise for magic, blue for serenity, and violet for the spirit. When the flag started to be mass produced, they got rid of the hot pink stripe because no one made hot pink fabric. However, when it was hung from lampposts, the lamppost would cover the green stripes, so next year they got rid of the turquoise stripes so there would be an even number of stripes, leaving us with the flag we have today. Incidentally, Rainbow is the name of a 70s hard rock band, a former Michigan weed farm, and a barn girl in West Hollywood. So if anyone is watching this video and wants to know other facts about rainbows or has any questions at all, I'd be willing to answer them in a follow-up video. Later.